M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Uniden BCT15 Scanner, also ProScan software, which is here, I'll put a link in the description, and Frequency Searcher, RRUK, or Radio Reference UK, and we can find frequencies and export them very easily. Just search here when you go to this page here, and I'll put a link in for this as well. You just put in your area, click search, and then you can upload the frequencies that you found. And so we'll click Scanner Export there. Click the grey box at the top for Uniden. And then you've got some frequencies there that you can upload. So back to the software. Once you've connected your cable to the front right of the uh, scanner, underneath the volume, uh, what well, is it, channel change knob, the big silver knob, connect it to your PC, and you're going to go right-click Device Manager, and you're double click ports and there it is there com 9 so you go com port make sure you choose 9 set and you're you're ready to go you're all connected and it should all come to life and you can choose your scanner as well scanner type all kinds of scanners there so we're all connected we want to get some frequencies in here so let's fully open this first thing you do is go to data at the moment we're clicked on history login there are lots of other tabs along here, like scanner, you can, if you go to remote scanner, that one's really good. If you click client, you can actually connect to scanners around the world um, without really doing anything. You just choose one, click start here, very important, you have to click client start. And when you, you can update as well, you know, to see the latest ones and double click and away you go. I really like doing that, that's very nice. But anyway. Back to importing, so as I said, we've got these other tabs here. There's so much to do with this software, but back to history, logging is there. I like seeing the history. Let's go database, because we want to import some frequencies. So you may get an error when you click database, saying there's no file. When you get that, click new and create a file. So hopefully we've got a file created already. Let's have a look. Desktop, I'm looking for something like Uniden. Da, da, da. Unit then there's one there, 3600. So we've got a file here, okay. And then we'll looks like it wants us to name it again. So we'll go Unit then 4 and it's save, okay. So it's got somewhere to save it. I'm going to put yes. And what we'll do, we'll read from the scanner. So we've got here download from scanner, and we'll click download. It's going to read everything that's on the scanner already. Looks like that's going to take a couple of minutes. <coughs> Select systems in the scanner. It's all very interesting. And there's a 30, 30 day free trial on this software. Right, drinking lots of cups of tea here as well. Okay, I'm going to click check all and go download. Hopefully that brings everything in. Is it just doing the same thing? I think it is. Anyway, once it's done that, we're going to import some frequencies. The actual radio says remote mode keypad lock but on the screen it's saying here DL database okay I think it just did the same again so next thing is to import a HPE file let's close that then we'll go database import sentinel HPE Let's just do a few here. We've got one here called Marine. Uh, get another file. Let's do airports. Get another file. Nationwide. Get another file. Air. Get another file. Anything else we got here? An American one there. Let's bring it in. That's it. We'll go import. Let's uh, check all, import, 
import. Nothing is selected. Okay, we did check all. And we'll go, maybe it's already done it. Import. Yeah, I think we have. We imported it like five times. Okay, let's just close it and then we'll go right to scanner. So we'll go database. Oh, no, wrong one. We'll go over here. Da upload to scanner. See it here? Upload. Yeah, it looks like we did upload everything about five times, but it doesn't matter. I just want to show you how to do it anyway. And it's still going quite fast. Okay, we're near the end. And we're back to scanning. So let's close. It's scanning everything now. Let's click menu. And then we'll go enter. Pushing the big silver button. And these are all the groups we've got. You've quite a few. Wow. So let's choose one. Amateur radio. We'll go menu. Enter. 